Thanks. All right. Speaking uh, of white supremacy. Speaking of white supremacy, we're on to our last topic. We have a summer bop that recently released. How long ago was it? I Not think three days ago. Three days three ago. Three days um, ago. From this guy named Tom McDonald. If you don't know who he is, he makes very weird, bad political songs. He's a conservative white. He's a white conservative rapper. Yeah, who often is like... Uh, doing some cultural appropriation like, from black people. If that's not a red flag, white conservative <laughs> rapper, I don't know what it is. Right. So he he came out with a song called Brainwashed. Oh. And the whole tune of the song was that, like, you know, everyone's brainwashed. We're not mm-hmm. focusing on the right issues, whatever. He's got, he's got other songs, notably um, one being, I think it's called Fake Woke. And then that another bad. one that's horrible. <laughs> and then another one titled No Lives Matter, which is just. <laughs> It's this like fourteen year old edgy white kid. Yeah, like, got a if, hold of a mic. If you don't know who he is, I encourage you to go listen to the song real quick before you listen to the segment. We're gonna talk about some of the nonsense. Please that he talks pirate about. it though. Please pirate it. Oh yeah, it. steal it. <laughs> you're not. You're not giving this dude streaming numbers. Exactly. All right. I have a couple of weird lyrics written down that he mm-hmm. that he said that I wanted to just you know chat about real quick. Uh, the first one is that we only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero. You get a whole Pride Month. First doesn't, doesn't even rhyme. I was about to say doesn't rhyme. It's <laughs> a bad bar. Doesn't rhyme. Moving on. I agree. I agree with everything else. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Um. Okay. First of all, he says we we dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers. We dedicate billions to the military mm-hmm. all the time, mm-hmm. every single year. I don't want to hear not, anything about this. We we do treat our veterans like shit. I but say, I don't yeah. see him addressing that. Right. I don't see him addressing the idea that, shout out to the TikTok I just made, the largest chain pharmacy in Virginia, which has the second highest military population, does not accept the military insurance. Yeah. CVS Tri-care. does not accept TRICARE. Yeah. What, what is that? You know that that's deliberate. Yeah. That is capitalism yeah. functioning there, as it's intended. There's absolutely a point to be made that we do not care about our veterans enough or even soldiers yes. while they're active. Oh, God, no. But why is he using that as justification to put down Pride Month? Thanks. You, you can. These are separate battles. Yeah, these are separate battles. You can support the veterans while also supporting people's identity and sexuality. Yeah. Like, you can do that. And I, I like the little, the little in-party fighting with Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, like, come on, bro. It's just another example. What is she doing? Why you? <laughs> okay, yeah, but like, like we disagree with Caitlyn Jenner on everything. But why would you call out the only yeah, trans woman you know? I don't disagree with her identity. Right. I think exactly. her politics are stupid. Right. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, why are you calling out the only trans person you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> come on, man. Uh, the next one, kind of a short one, but he said, "Don't speak. We don't need to defund the police. We need to defund the media who lies through their teeth." I would love to defund Fox News. I would absolutely yeah. love it. That had me thinking, like, what media does he think is lying? <laughs> is it, like, I mean... I would agree that MSNBC and CNN both lie like I, Fox News I was, do. I was just but... about to say, like, a lot of liberal media lies as well, but he's probably excluding Fox News from well, this he's conversation. He's excluding Fox News, OAN, and Newsmax. Right, and the thing is that in this song, he uses recycled Fox News talking exactly. points. And also, those things are funded by taxpayer dollars. And then Those he, are all private corporations. Right. But then he says we need to defund the media, but not the police. Like, I, like <laughs> he, he, does, he just doesn't understand why the, the difference between those two things. One is a private entity. Yeah. And the other is a public service that is not serving the public. Yeah, not at all. Come on, dog. Yeah. And I believe that the free press is one of the most important things in a democracy. Yeah. And I agree that we should not be, you know, told lies by just about everybody in the media. Thanks. But I 100% <laughs> know he's that he's not it. thinking the same way. Yes. He's not thinking the same way. Uh, next one is a big critique on Big Pharma. He says, Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog, because every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And Big Oil runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries that have natural resources they want. Based, Flow is bad. Based anti-capitalist Tom McDonald. Yeah, no, that's literally anti-capitalist rhetoric. <laughs> oh, I don't I, exactly. Like, so I, I'd heard that when I was listening to it. I was like, I do not understand where he's gonna go Mm-mm. next. Like, what? What's the point of saying these things? Like, I know you're not a socialist. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure he calls out like he talks shit about socialists not only in this song but in like every other fucking song mm-hmm. that he has. It's like what? So what are you what are you bringing up here? Yeah. Is, what's your solution? This part made me feel very weird because I'm yeah. like, okay, I agree. <laughs> 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 like this, like he's not wrong, and it's like it's an anti big pharma take, anti really just like capitalist take. Yeah. From a right winger, but everything else that he talks about in the song directly contradicts that sentiment. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I I don't know what he's doing. And the ideology it's he subscribes like to, yeah, the ideology he subscribes to strengthens big pharma. The ideology that he puts. 
pushes through his music that gets millions of plays. Yeah, like, literally would pop up doing? Big Pharma. Like, so when you hear people like Tucker Carlson or Tom McDonald or any other right winger complain about Big Pharma or any other like uh, capitalist or like um, Silicon Valley yes, and Big, big tech, tech, anytime they complain about these issues, they do nothing oh, yeah. to, to stop or take power away from these big companies. They just complain about it. Facts. Or they'll do the socialist thing but say it's capitalism. Yeah. Like, this is this is capitalism. And then the like two libertarians in the country will be like, actually... That's not real capitalism. That's corporatism. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next part. Maybe your favorite line. Do you want to do the line? You see it? You want to do the line? <clears throat> white privilege being amplified to reinforce the vision. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin. It doesn't fucking rhyme, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. What system? <laughs> Gap. Tom, what system are you right. talking about? Like, like, and in the previous line, he describes how big pharma is bad, big oil is bad, and these other big companies or uh, big industries yeah. are bad. But then he says the problem isn't with the system; it's literally a part of the system, <laughs> an intentional part of the system. Come on, and it's, dude, no, it's, he's yeah. so fucking stupid. Yeah, I don't understand, bro. I'm trying so hard out here to do my thing, and this dude's got millions of plays on his songs. Yeah, all of the things that he talks about is just like culture war, kids are being indoctrinated mm -hmm. type shit mm -hmm. that doesn't actually matter. Or when he talks about issues that do matter, none of his proposed solutions would actually do anything to yeah, solve that. Yeah, because no lives matter. Right. So edgy. So, so cool. Edgy. I don't, cool dude. I don't get it. I think that this rap song and all of his rap songs really are just a perfect theme song for all conservatives. Like, I think it just matches matches the conservative, quote-unquote, movement super well. And he's just stealing a bunch of people's flows in this song, too. Yeah. Like, oh, God, when he said um something that he goes, he goes, and I'll let me try to recreate the cadence of the delivery. <laughs> it's something about how Joe Biden eats 100 Xanax for dinner. It's like you you're, you're <laughs> literally just took Tyler, the creator's flow off of, I can't remember exactly which song it was in his mm -hmm. new album, but it's like, that's just that flow. Like, yeah. come on. And then right after that bar, he went on to say that censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter is worse or like a bigger threat yeah. than foreign ballistic missiles. No, it's not. <laughs> I promise you it's not. 100%, dude. Bro, how can you equate Losing your Twitter platform and dying from a ballistic yeah. missile. In, like, in one of his insane. other songs, in No Lives Matter, he's got a bar where he says, he's just complaining about people criticizing the president. Oh and then he goes and makes this song. It's literally, how is he equating these two things? I don't get it. It's like to them, losing their ability to talk on Twitter is the same as death. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's no, the same thing. It's just like all those conservative meme pages you see on Instagram that also will repeat like, left-wing economic populist takes mm -hmm. but then just not say it's capitalism that's the right. issue right. or no they'll say we need to do something about big pharma but instead of providing a solution that would actually do something against big pharma nationalizing the industry something like that they yep. say so you should take your vitamins yeah take your health into your own hands i'm sorry i can't take my congenital myopathy into my own <laughs> hands like i'm sorry i can't take on the entire apparatus of big pharma by exactly. myself i'm sorry people with cancer and diabetes can't take that on like by themselves yeah and that they need other things to systemic help issues systemic issues require systemic solutions individuals yeah. cannot solve these issues no, and when it's... we have when we have governments that have the powers to regulate these things yeah. or phase them into the the federal government themselves not doing that is only perpetuating the issues Just straight up unethical oh yeah. my god dude. yeah yeah tom mcdonald good guy Cool guy. Get him on the pod. Cool guy. I Friend of the he, pod. I bet he's an Eminem fan. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> no particular reason Even though he all. doesn't know what Eminem's talking about. Dude, no, and it's like half the time he's using uh like I don't know much about like the AAVE discourse and things yeah. like that. I tend to agree with like people like Hassan Piker, but then again, I'm pretty much just white. Mm -hmm. So my opinion doesn't it's kind of uninformed, whatever. But he straight up uses it like half the time. Yeah. And it's like, I know you didn't grow up around this. Mm -hmm. I know you didn't grow up around people who talk about this. Like, yeah. what rappers are you listening to, like, under the covers that you've learned this from? Right. And a lot of a lot of rap music is pretty far left. Yeah. Like a lot of it's his pretty very anti-establishment. Right. Well, very like, anti-establishment. Um, anti the powers that be, or yeah. very just like. Pro supporting marginalized communities yes. and that kind of thing. Or telling the story about how communities have been marginalized. Obviously, it's not the story here. Mm -hmm. But this dude is just, you know, grifting. And there's Getting also the, the war, conversation to be had that white rappers are a guest in the culture. Yeah. 
Like, they are not the culture. There are guests in it. That's why I've seen, like, funny distinctions drawn between, like, Jack Harlow is not a white rapper. I've seen some some people say that because he's just, he fits in with the culture, but still, he is a guest. Yeah. Tom McDonald wasn't invited. He just crashed the party. Yeah. And then and then his album covers are literally just blackface. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, you just be stealing their culture just over up, and over. Just literally just racist. Yeah, straight I'm up racist. I'm pretty sure he'll rap about things like 1352. Yeah, it's not even a microaggression. <laughs> it's just a macroaggression. <laughs> he just doesn't care. It just, this this song just tells the story of how all conservatives treat all this social is issues. The conservative mind. This is the neocon mindset. Yeah. Like, it's just plain and simple. Go listen to it if you want to understand yeah. what your, I don't know, what your racist uncle thinks. Yeah, lots of logical inconsistencies that we have now debunked. Yeah, so in conclusion, top five rappers have to be Eminem. <laughs> top three rappers got to be Eminem, Tom McDonald, and I'd say half a logic. Oh, <laughs> and that's all for the show today, folks. Yeah, yeah, that's a real take from Gage that he actually has. Yep, 100%. Yeah, you know what? You're canceled. <laughs> oh, canceled. fuck, fuck me.